My name is Wan Muhammad Mahfuz bin Wan Hassan and I am a teacher at Sekolah Kebangsaan Petaling Wan. Before we start our class today, we will have a game. The first table will be the table of snakes. The second table? Bears. Bears. And then the third table? Birds. Birds. And the fourth role is? Dolphins. Dolphins. Now you know how to do it, but please be quiet. Don't make any sound. I just want to see the action. Do you understand me? Yes. Good. Uh, Faris Hanif, come and take yours and start doing your action now. Look at the paper. What is that? Okay, now fly like a bird. Next, come. Next, Faisal, come. Look at the look at the paper first. What is that? All right, very good. All right, next. All right, go. All right. What are you? A dolphin. Go! Dive like a dolphin. Alright, now can I have all the dolphins to stand up and show their movements? Everyone look at the dolphins. A dolphin swims and dives. Do the movements now. Dive. Dive. Very good. Now the birds, stand up. The birds, how does a bird move? Very good. Fly like a bird. All right. Now, um, what is this one? Thank you very much. A bear. And how does a bear move? Ah, uh, a bear. A bear moves like that. Very good. Sit down. And now, the snakes. Stand up, the snakes. Slither like snakes. Everyone. Okay. Thank you very much. Sit down. Everyone give a big clap to the class for doing a good thing. Okay, now, today our lesson will be on animal movements. By the end of the lesson today, you should be able to identify at least three out of five topic sentences when skimming the passage. Number two, you should be able to locate important information when scanning the text. And number three, you should be able to answer at least 15 out of 20 comprehension questions correctly. The lesson is an integral part of a lesson study, one of the strategies in a professional learning community or PLC. I personally believe that student learning is more important than teachers teaching. Class, we know that there are many types of animals and they have different movements. Now, can you give me some examples how animals move? Alright, Oliver, can you give me one example please? The animal is bird. Bird? A bird flies. A bird flies. Very good, Oliver. Give a big clap. A bird flies. These animals move around for a reason. Can some of you give me the reasons why animals need to move around? Put up your hand. Oh yes, Catherine. Animals move around to find their partners for mating. Very good, Catherine. Give a clap to Catherine. Alright, Catherine says animals need to move around to find partners for mating. The lesson today takes teaching and learning to a whole new level. It incorporated fun learning, web-based activities and a lot of other approaches that makes the learning fun, effective and practical. So we are going to the reading text. Okay. Now, in reading, we have many processes and the process involved in reading is the skimming of the reading text. Skimming a text is identifying the topic sentences. In a reading text, there must be a topic sentence. 
Alright? So, what is a topic sentence? A topic sentence is usually the first sentence in the paragraph. We can identify the topic sentence by identifying the first sentence of the paragraph. For example, you can look at the second paragraph. The first sentence, which is animals move to find food and protection, is a topic sentence. Now, I would like you to find the topic sentences for the other paragraphs. Okay, I give you two minutes to find the topic sentences for the other paragraph. Now, can I please have Haizal to tell me what the first topic sentence is? Most animals that live on land use their leg to move. Very good. Now, can I please have someone to tell me the second topic sentence that you can find from paragraph 4? Put up your hand if you want to answer my question. All right, Alia Kistina. There are animals that live and move in the water. Very good, Alia Kistina. The next topic sentence. Who wants to answer me? Put up your hands. All right, Daniel Hickman. They can fly in the air and walk on land. Thank you very much. Give a clap to Daniel Hickman. <laughs> All right, so now you should be able to identify the topic sentences and you should be able to do the scheming of the text. This is one of the processes in reading a text. We are coming to the second process that we call scanning. Scanning is to look for the information or specific fact. It is very useful for speed reading. For example, everyone, paragraph 3 of the text, there's a phrase, kangaroos hop and frogs leap. That is the important information from paragraph 3. Alright, now, um, can someone quickly tell me uh, how earthworms move around? Put up your hand if you want to answer. Oh, okay, Haizal again. Yes, Haizal, how does an earthworm move? Earthworms dig through the soil. Very good. That is a specific information or specific fact of paragraph 3. All right. And how does an earthworm dig through the soil? Who wants to answer me? Um, oh yeah, Alia Kistina. Earthworms has tiny hairs on their bodies. Thank you very much. Because earthworm has tiny hairs on their bodies, it's very easy for them to dig through the soil. I believe that my lesson today incorporated or catered different learning styles and multiple intelligences. In the beginning of the lesson, I used kinesthetic and towards the end, I used videos for visual and also auditory elements in my lesson. So, I believe that with the different approaches that I use, it has scattered a lot of different learning styles and multiple intelligences of my students. Now that we have finished two processes of reading, namely skimming and scanning, it's time for silent reading, which is you need to read the passage by yourself and then you understand the whole passage. What is it all about? After understanding the whole passage, you answer the quiz in your frog sites.
All right, everyone. My hot question is: Your country's military department wants to build a robot with animals' characteristics and qualities. You need to sketch and briefly tell your class which animals' movements you would choose. Okay. Now, do you want to hear your friends' answers? Yes. Yes, we want to hear your friends' answer, right? So can I please have um, Shazani Danish? Can you please stand up and tell us more about your robot? The name of my robot is Rhinobot. It has four legs. It can lumber like a bear because it is strong. It also can run as fast as a jaguar. Thank you very much. Give a big clap. So can I please have Azrae? The name of my robot is Jaguarbot. Jaguarbot. It has very sharp claws that can tear enemies' flesh. Ooh. It also can run as fast as Jaguar. Its magical movement is crawling quietly when hunting its enemy. That's a very good one. Okay, give a big clap to him. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson today about magical, magical movements. That's all. Thank you.